invasion was conducted in two main phases. First, an airborne assault, and then the amphibious landings. Shortly after midnight, over 18,000 Allied paratroopers were dropped to disrupt the main German land forces and to capture important positions inland. Then, after an intense naval and air bombardment of German coastal defences, the first landing started at about 6.30 a.m. Over 130,000 troops, mainly from the UK, the US and Canada, began landing on five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno and Sword. For most of that day, this wave of troops, tanks and artillery continued to flow onto the beaches in the face of fierce resistance from the German defences. Air support was crucial, with over 14,000 missions carried out by Allied forces. Not all of the ambitions to take territory on that first day were met, with US forces facing particularly difficult opposition from elite German troops in the West. But a foothold had been achieved, and the battle to liberate Northern Europe from Nazi occupation was underway.